What's up, tennis fans? I'm Lauren Lynch, and this is Tennis Now, your source for the latest tennis news now. On a day when a wickedly wild wind swirled at high speed made tennis balls bounce as bizarrely around the court as ping pong balls careening crazily inside a glass of a lottery hopper, Mikhail Yuzny effectively exploited the elements and mastered fifth set pressure to advance to his second U.S. Open semifinal with hard-fought 3-6-7-6-3-6-6-3-6-3 triumph over Stan Wawrinka that spanned for four hours. The 12th seeded Russian will face either world number one Rafael Nadal or 8th seeded Spaniard Fernando Verdasco in Saturday's semifinal. It was so close, Yuzny said. I like New York. I really like to play here. Four years ago, Yuzny reached the Flushing Meadows Final Four, falling to Andy Roddick. While the 28-year-old Russian could face an immense challenge against either Nadal or Verdasco, Yuzny is the only man left in the draw who has a win over Nadal at the U.S. Open. He beat Nadal in four sets in the 2006 U.S. Open quarterfinal. Though Nadal has won seven of 11 meetings with Yuzny, the Russian with the brilliant one-handed backhand has a four and three record versus Nadal on hard courts. The victory vaults Yuzny back into the world's top 10 for the first time since February of 2008, when he reached a career high of ranking number eight. Mary Jo Fernandez was out on the court playing in the senior exhibition event at the U.S. Open today and will continue her coaching duties for the next two years. The USTA announced today that it has agreed to a two-year extension with U.S. Fed Cup captain Fernandez that will run through the 2012 season. Fernandez took over as captain last year after serving one season as team coach. She is 4-1 at the helm of the U.S. Fed Cup team and has led the U.S. to consecutive Fed Cup Finals appearances in her first two years as captain. Fernandez will attempt to lead the U.S. to its first Fed Cup title since 2000 when the U.S. hosts Italy in San Diego in November. The U.S. also faced Italy in last year's final in Reggio Calabria, Italy, losing 4-0. World number one Serena Williams and world number four Venus Williams have committed to represent the U.S. in the final, joining the Corp U.S. Fed Cup group, Melanie Udan, Bethany maddox hands and world number one doubles player and 2010 U.S. Open mixed doubles champion, Liesl Huber. So will Serena, who has not played a match since winning her 13th major title at Wimbledon, actually play the final? Serena committed to play the 2009 Fed Cup final but pulled out days before the final on the red clay of Italy. Fernandez said she expects both sisters to play. The ultimate thing is win the Fed Cup and bring it back home to the United States, Fernandez said. The best way to do that is to have the best players in the world. We are so fortunate to have Venus and Serena. So I've had a great communications from the first day of taking over as captain with both Venus and Serena. They've been very upfront when they can play, when they definitely don't want to play. Bob Bryan grew up in California and South African born Liesl Huber is an American citizen who lives outside of Houston. Together the American tandem came together to collect the first championship of this US Open, scoring a 6-4, 6-4 victory in the mixed doubles final. The shared positive posture powered the pair to the title. I felt like we had a good attitude, good kind of an outlook because in mixed, things can go wrong. You're never really safe, you know, Bob Bryan said. You can be up 5-2 and it's 5-all in a heartbeat. You have to keep lighthearted in the whole situation. I think the smiles are what got us through. Yeah, smiles. The Bryan brothers will donate $10,000 from their foundation to help the victims of the recent floods that have devastated Pakistan. Just hearing about the problem, I talked about it with my brother and my dad and just wanted to do it, said Bob Bryan. 